A meanwhile, hospitalizations continue to rise in Iowa. According to the Iowa Department of Public Health, the two week positivity rate stands at nearly 12%. Iowa doctors say the data speaks for itself. An overwhelming majority of those in the hospital with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. At tonight, Local 5's Mary Suggan takes a deeper look at that hospitalization data from the Iowa Department of Public Health. And the trend, doctors say, is concerning. Stephanie and Samantha, the trend doctors tell me they're seeing is more and more younger adults needing hospitalization for COVID-19, with some needing serious care in the ICU, something they say is preventable. The emergency departments and hospitals are very, very full. Doctors say what's adding to these stressed health systems, an increase of unvaccinated young adult COVID-19 patients. According to IDPH, every single person aged 30 to 39 who's currently in the hospital with COVID-19 is unvaccinated. And for those under 50 years old, 93% are unvaccinated. So that means the vaccines do work. The vaccines are effective to prevent severe disease and even hospitalization. According to health experts, COVID-19 impacts the younger population differently than other infectious diseases. We've seen that the comorbidities, even diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiac conditions, again, um, increased weight, are putting younger populations at much higher risk for complications from COVID-19, such as being hospitalized, ending up in the ICU. Unvaccinated patients also make up the majority of older hospitalized patients. While there are slightly more breakthrough cases, doctors say that's to be expected. Your immune system, as you age, tends not to be as strong, and so it's not uncommon for infectious diseases that patients that are older are going to be more vulnerable and be more susceptible. Doctors say vaccines are the easiest way to keep people out of the hospitals, which is more important than ever, with the industry stretched thin. The shortage on different um, type of staff, you know, nurses, respiratory therapists, even pharmacists are actually making the care of these patients a little more difficult. Now, in addition to staffing shortages for health professionals, doctors tell me that they're seeing a rise of patients for non-COVID issues, something that they say we didn't see much of in previous COVID surges. In the studio, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Mary, thank you. Now, the younger population in Iowa also accounts for the majority of positive COVID cases over the past seven days. This is a graph from the Iowa Department of Public Health. Now, kids to teenagers and young adults are tied at 18%. Those in their 30s not trailing too far behind. The older population accounts for the least numbers of positive tests over the past seven days.